people considering accounting as a possible career should get a sense of how many people are working in that occupation, where they work, what they do, who they do it for, and how much they earn. We've found that educators, employers, and the accounting profession probably have too much skin in the game to provide unbiased information. First, we went to the Canada Job Bank. We found that about 2% of Canadian workers are either employed or self-employed in accounting-related occupations. That means about 1 in 49 of working Canadians are employed in these occupations. About one-sixth of accountants and financial auditors are self-employed. Moreover, Statistics Canada appears to have been persuaded to align the accountants' and auditors' occupations to exclude everyone but members of CPA Canada. Next, we went to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics to get a sense of how many people work in the industry there. The bottom line is that about 1.88% of American workers are either employed or self-employed in accounting-related occupations. Looked at another way, about 1 in 53 working Americans are employed in these occupations. This result is similar to what we found in Canada. What is different in the U.S. is the extent to which certified public accountants dominate, or rather don't dominate the ranks of accountants and auditors. By contrast, Canada's chartered professional accountants seem to have a stranglehold on that occupation. Another significant difference is the extent to which Canadian accountants and auditors are self-employed. About four times as many Canadians in this field are self-employed. These self-employed professionals are largely engaged in public accounting and service small businesses in this country, helping them with tax and regulatory compliance issues. CPA Canada publishes information about the number of its members in their annual reports. It also requires members engaged in public accounting to register with their provincial body. We determined how many CPAs work in the public sector according to Canada Job Bank estimates. We then determined the number of CPAs working in industry by subtracting public accountants and those employed in the public sector from CPA Canada's total reported membership. Now that we've determined how many CPAs worked in industry, we're able to align the number of CPAs with the number of businesses. If we assume that the distribution of full-time American CPAs by size of company is consistent, we can calculate the approximate number of CPAs working for our largest companies. While our professional accounting bodies try to make the case that a CPA designation is a prerequisite for a rewarding career as an industrial accountant, the reality is that less than half of our largest businesses, those with 50 or more employees, have even a single CPA on staff. They certainly have accountants working for them, but most aren't CPAs. According to an online news article in Narcity dated November of 2020, the Canada Revenue Agency is now hiring people to work as agents in tax services without requiring any post-secondary education. This suggests that CPA Canada's attempts to corner the market on the accounting occupation are running into a demographic wall. While the occupation remains one of Canada's largest, CPAs are primarily valued for their income tax expertise. 